Hi loves, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be doing a long overdue Ulta haul. <laughs> Finally, right? I know, it's been a minute. Just with the holidays and stuff, I was kind of focusing on what I was getting for other people, but I recently did a haul with Ulta. I did an online order because Ulta doesn't carry a lot of MAC products in store. At least the Ulta's near me don't. Usually I have to buy that stuff online. But before I get started in today's video, I just wanted to talk about my accessories. So I know you guys have seen this if you watched my recent vlog when my cousin came in town. This is from a brand called Diamoto Jewelry. This ring is called the Circle of Love Ring. It's just, it's like a stackable ring. Like it's like super popping right now. I love rings like this. I've been wearing rings like this forever. And then I also have this necklace. It's in an emerald green shade. And I just can't get it on my neck yet. <sighs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. But I just can't get it on my neck yet because my nails are so long. So I'm gonna have my husband put it on, but it's such a gorgeous piece. And it's called the emerald necklace. Hence the shade is literally an emerald green. It's so gorgeous. It's like a teardrop. It's really, really pretty and just dainty. I, you guys know, like, I love, like, little dainty accessories, dainty necklaces, earrings, purses, stuff like that. So I just had to talk about them for a bit. If you guys want to discover more jewelry pieces, they have way more than what I'm recommending. I just really love these two pieces. You can check their link out down below in my description box. And if you do purchase anything, go ahead and use my code Corey for money off of your purchase. Also, they do have an Instagram, so go and follow them over there on the gram and yeah if you have any questions about my jewelry please don't feel, feel free to comment or email me it's up to you all of that info is down in the description box and without further ado let's get started so we got a nice we got a nice size of cards and just to be clear this is an ulta haul because most of the stuff came from ulta but it's also a mac haul and a little mini sephora haul because I didn't get enough from Sephora to do like a haul video. Just bear with me. So it's 9.26 a.m. right now. I have to be at work at 10.45. But I live 30 minutes away from my job. So you guys think I will be able to make it? I mean really what's more important? This video or work? Obviously the video. So I recently started shopping at Ulta around it was the end of 2017. It was holiday season. Shout out to my friend. She actually was the one who kind of got me. She took me to Ulta and we went shopping and basically I've been hooked on their rewards program ever since. She was the one who told me to like download the app and all that stuff. So when I signed up for the rewards program, I think because my I have an August birthday. My birthday is August 17th. I think since I missed the birthday gift already, the lady put my birthday in as being in December. So I was able to get a birthday gift. So now from Ulta, I always get my birthday rewards in December, which is fine. I mean, I don't care. I'm just waiting a couple extra months. So basically at Ulta this year, I got a $10 reward. So basically it's like a $10 voucher. You can get anything in the store, $10 off, or even if the item is like $8 or $10, you get it for free basically. So I ended up getting this NYX Butter Loss. This one is in the shade Fortune Cookie. I know that NYX discontinued some of their shades, like some of the brown girl shades, but I feel like they brought some back. I'm not gonna open this yet because I'm probably gonna use this in a first impressions, but it's just like a light nude. Something that would go perfect with a brown lip liner. I got a lot of lips. I got like mostly lips. And I feel like it's because in 2020, due to the mask and stuff like that, I just wasn't into lip products like that. And all of a sudden, I've just been like so into them lately. So the next thing I got is this MAC lipstick. This one is in the shade Bossom Friend. And I actually realized, so that's another reason I wanted to film this video. So I was looking for a few MAC shades and I realized that MAC wasn't carrying certain shades that Ulta was. So right before shades get continued, discontinued, check Ulta if you can't find them at MAC anymore. This one is like a light pink, like a very light ashy pink. It would make a perfect base with like a gloss or something. So yeah, basically this shade, the Boston Friend shade is being discontinued and it was on Ulta's website. And that's not the first time that that's happened to me. So if you're looking for a MAC lipstick and it's, it's already discontinued through the MAC website and you can't find it in store, check Ulta before you get your hopes up and check on MAC Sale Rack. The next thing I got is a MAC Dazzle Glass. This one is in the shade Dress to Dazzle. And it just looks like this. I haven't opened this one yet, but this looks very similar to the shade Roller Girl. This is also another new gloss that I got, Roller Girl. So this one is Roller Girl, and this one is Dress to Dazzle. Look how close they are. 
However, this one, Roller Girl, is a little bit darker, but Roller Girl, unfortunately, is discontinued. It's not on the MAC website or at Ulta anymore. If you like Roller Girl, but you want something close, Dress to Dazzle is the next closest thing. They literally look identical, literally. And these retail for $19. The next thing I got are some ashy pink lip liners. I've been loving like the pink with a brown lip liner, kind of like what I have on my lips today. These are the NYX lip liners. This one is in the shade Pale Pink. And this one is in the shade Flower. These are not suede matte lip liners. These are just the regular lip pencils. The suede matte lip liners, honestly, like are a little bit better for lining the lips. But I actually bought this for like the center of my lips, not to outline my lips. And they're just both some like nude pale pinks. I got another MAC lipstick. This one is in the shade Pretty Please. And this one is the light ashy nude as well it's a little bit more sheer than their like traditional lipstick formula but again it would make for a great base to put a gloss on top of next i got the shade cream de nude and if any of you guys you guys know i really like Aaliyah j here on youtube i definitely fell for this this is like one of her favorite lipsticks it's not one of my favorites but i do really really like it it just looks like this this is like a perfect lipstick for like every day and for like glam looks it's like that perfect center of the lip nude. I think the name is super catchy. I think that's really cute. Since we were talking about lip liners, this is actually from the beauty supply store. So for those of you who are into makeup but you're not really into spending a pretty penny, if you check out your local beauty supply stores, there's a brand called Nika K. And these lip liners retail for $1.99, literally. The brown lip liner, this one is in the shade Coco, and it's just like a warmer brown. It looks sort of like cork, and then the one underneath it is a little bit darker. That one is literally in the shade called brown. And these lip liners are $1.99, and this one is retractable. So if you don't want to spend crazy amounts of money, like these are cheaper than NYX, they're cheaper than MAC, go to the beauty supply store. But Nika K is like the brand to get. I just feel like the lip liners are just so perfect. Like you wouldn't know that they're only $1.99. And I think the pencils, like the traditional pencils are only like a dollar. These are just $1.99 because they're retractable. So the packaging is a little bit more advanced. I got two more lip liners from NYX. One of them is the suede matte lip liner, which is my favorite formula from them. This one is in the shade Mason. It's spelled M-A-I-S-O-N. And it's just like a chocolatey brown. And then I also got the lip pencil in the shade Dolly, which is like more like a light hot pink. Sort of like what I have on my lips today. And then for my high-end lip liners, I got this MAC lip liner. This is the lip pencil in the shade Mahogany. And this one is in the shade Stone. Now Stone I do have, but I'm almost out of. So this is a replacement. Honestly, when I bought Mahogany, I thought it was gonna be more brown, but it's like super, super like red orangey and I don't feel like it's gonna be flattering on my skin tone. So I'm probably gonna give it to one of my more pale friends. So I'm not gonna swatch this. I still love Max Formula, nonetheless. It's like a lot, It's a lot lighter than what it looks like on the this end. So yeah, that's probably a no for me, but that's the downside to shopping online. The next thing I got is the MAC lip gloss in the shade Oyster Girl. I literally just got this and I have been using it to death. I love this lip gloss. It's so pretty. If you guys are into like those pale pinks, you guys will definitely love this gloss. It has like a pearl-like finish. I think you would definitely really like this. The next thing I got is this NARS lip gloss. This one is in the shade Turkish Delight. And again, I'm getting a lot, like I just had like a crazy pink nude lip gloss little phase that I'm just now going through. But this is like a cute baby doll pink. Look at that. It's just like a cute baby doll pink. And it's so gorgeous. Now, I didn't realize how pricey NARS glosses were. These glosses are $24. Like, I mean, I know MAC is not portable, but like, I don't know, 19 and 24 is, that's a big difference in my opinion on makeup. That's just a big difference, but the color was so cute and I'm not building up. I don't collect NARS glosses the way I, I feel like MAC is honestly, MAC and Fenty are the only lip products I would consider myself collecting, if you want to say that, whatever. Okay guys, so what actually inspired me to go on this haul anyway is I kept, I've always told you guys that I wore these pink lipsticks when I was in high school 
all the time with this other girl. So I could not figure out what shade it was that we were always wearing. So I finally DM'd her and I asked her and she told me it was the Snob lipstick, which I know it was like either Snob, St. Germain or Pink New Wave. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I knew it was one of those shades. I just couldn't remember. So she informed me it was Snob and as soon as she told me, I made this order and I'm so glad I did. I actually have it on my lips today along with St. Germain. I kind of mixed them. But to those of you in high school who told me my makeup was cute while I had on Snob without a lip liner, you're so shady. Yes, I was wearing this lipstick without a lip liner every day and people were really telling me it was cute. But this was my favorite lipstick in high school. The It Girls had this lipstick in high school. Like, I don't know, the MAC lipsticks in high school they were popping they were popping and i just i'm gonna swatch it side by side so this is snob on my hand and then i'm gonna swatch saint germain which is a little bit brighter underneath it so this is saint germain at the bottom and then snob is at the top and i actually have both of these on my lips today but with a brown lip liner of course and i'm just so happy that i've remembered well she told me the shade because it just I don't know like the lipsticks just brought back so many memories for me of when I really first got really into makeup I was a huge MAC lipstick girl in high school so it just really like nostalgia you know the next lipstick I got is influentially it I think it's in my purse and I don't feel like disrupting my husband is back there playing games or whatever so it's a nude and I will insert a clip of me swatching it on my hand and like a photo of the lipstick but I actually like this for a, like a nude everyday lipstick again as a base for a gloss so and then the last thing i got for my ulta haul i got this mac fix and bronze it i don't actually know what this is if it's like supposed to be some sort of setting spray or something oh not bronze it bronzite it looks really interesting though it looks like a shimmery fix plus oh there's like no shimmer in here, so what is this, just like a setting spray? I mean, I don't have any shimmer, I shook it up. Oh, there's like little light reflex on me. Nothing too crazy, but basically because of, I spent like over $35 on a MAC purchase, I got this for free basically, and I think it's still going on, but honestly, there's like literally little light flecks of like shimmer in here, that's it. I would actually use this as a setting spray. It's actually really pretty. So that's it for my Ulta haul. So I have a few more items left. These are not from Ulta. One is, these are from, some are from Sephora and the other are from the actual MAC store. So basically when MAC discontinues their lipsticks, they usually go on sale, or not just lipsticks, but like anything they're discontinuing, it usually goes on sale for 40% off. Luckily, I found a light ashy nude that I've been rocking every day. This is in the shade Best of Me. This is unfortunately being discontinued. And that's too bad because I'm actually loving this shade. But just in case, because I've been rocking it every day, I did purchase another backup of it. It's a little backup of it, just in case I run out. So, like I said, if you guys are ever looking for something that's discontinued, call the Mac store and ask if it's on the sale, the sale shelf or look at Ulta. But yeah, I really love that lipstick, so of course I bought a backup. And I got it for 40% off. So basically, I only paid $12 each for both of these. So I spent about $24 on both. And then the last two lip things I got are from Huda Beauty. This one is in the shade Spice Girl, and this one is in the shade Trophy Wife. And yeah, this one's just like, you guys have seen Spice Girl on my channel. I recently used it in a first impressions video. And then this is Trophy Wife. I feel like everyone is trying to use Rihanna's names but it's like a beautiful pink but i just thought that spice girl and trophy wife would be pretty mixed together and the crazy thing is a lot of these lip products that i'm purchasing are things i've seen floating around on youtube you ever seen like a really bomb makeup tutorial and you guys are like okay like she rocked that now i need to go and purchase that item that's literally me especially i don't know what it is if somebody does like a great lip combo i'm like so easily intrigued that i just I'm like, have to go out and buy that product but i'm actually really considering if i want to take my whole mac only lipstick so no glosses my mac lipstick collection and do like a swatch fest kind of so you guys can see like how each of these different colors looks on my skin tones and like what lipsticks you guys feel like you you could rock or you need to get a specific lip liner for let me know little short story time i was actually watching a brown girl she was swatching all of the pinks in the mac lipstick line 
and somebody commented on the video and was like the lipsticks look clownish on you you know because for one i can't stand when people swatch lipsticks with the, unless it's called like a lip combo video if you're swatching lipsticks i feel like if you use a liner it's going to alter the color so i'm not going to see like the true color of it which is why i liked her video so much because she didn't alter the color she put it on just so we could kind of see you know which ones the brown girls need lip liners with or not and the lady commented on it and was like you look clownish and everyone in the comments was like i felt bad they were kind of snapping on her but they were like that's the point of the video like so we can see the color but like they were right like i don't know people can just be so negative sometimes like everything doesn't need to be said like if my parents raised me that if you don't have something nice to say just don't say it. if you don't have something nice to type just keep your mouth shut you know that's just me but anyway let me know if you guys want to see that like a mac swatch fest for me sorry to like bombard you with so many lipsticks but i'm just i'm like now i'm done being lipstick crazy because that was that was a lot of lipstick that was a lot of lip products but yeah i just had like a little phase i'm over it now i'm so glad i figured out what lipstick i was rocking in high school to get me back to that and yeah also guys please for me for me this is for me if you really rock with me please check out diamoto's jewelry check out their website down below in my description box like i said use code corey for money off your purchase and please go over and follow them on instagram like some of their stuff look at the stuff that they have because i've really been loving my jewelry i always get compliments and it's so 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 cute so yeah let them know i sent you over there so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please do not forget to like and subscribe down below and i will see you all very soon in my next one bye